Today we're learning to draw the milkweed plant. So we'll start with the stem that goes up like this. I have some milkweed right here that has little flowers on top. For the flowers, we'll just make some little dots. First, let's make some tiny little stems coming out and then little orange circles on those stems. And let's fill that into almost like a circle. The milkweed blossoms are where the monarchs can get nectar. So they'll have enough strength for their migration when it gets cold and they need to go south. Oops, also add in a little yellow. Now, as you see, milkweed leaves are, th this type of milkweed has very thin and narrow leaves. So we're gonna draw our leaves kind of long and thin, I'd say kind of like a football, but a little more narrow. And they go down the stem. You could make a few um, small ones if you want in between. And caterpillars munch on these like crazy. So I'm going to make some holes right here that shows where the caterpillars have been eating the milkweed leaves. By the time they have been a caterpillar for 16 days, often there are no leaves left. They've consumed all of this milkweed. Now let's add our little caterpillar. Before drawing your caterpillar, be sure and watch um, the link that I posted with this lesson where you can see caterpillars up close and personal. So you can see all the little characteristics about them. Caterpillars are often under the leaf, over on top of the leaf, hanging down over the leaf like this. I'm gonna draw my little caterpillar hanging off the leaf. He has two long antennas in the front two shorter antennas in the back. A great way to make him look like a monarch caterpillar is just to first give him black stripes so he looks like a zebra caterpillar and then fill those in with yellow or half of it in with yellow because monarch caterpillars are black, white, and yellow. Let's make another one down here just hanging on the bottom of the leaf. They start out tiny, smaller than a penny. I have 16 little caterpillars right now that are about the size of a penny. By next week, they should be long enough to where I could pick them up and show my students. So remember, our caterpillars are black, white, and yellow. And wherever they are, there are a lot of holes in the milkweed leaf. Milkweed is poisonous, except to the caterpillars, the monarch caterpillar, so they consume a lot. Milkweed, it's like their special plant. Then you could color in all of your leaves. Also, you have a little time. And now the butterfly. This is a scientific drawing of a monarch butterfly. See how the wings go up, up, and then in. And this is a bottom wing. These are actually separate wings. Here's a way that we can draw a butterfly so it kind of looks like a monarch. First, we have that little tiny head and then we'll have the body. On the body down here, there's some actually some white lines. So we can just make some little lines close together. So here's a fun way to do it. Just come up, up. It's like you curved up and up. Then in the very middle of the body, make a wavy line. And then let's connect coming down and then kind of a wavy line. Curve down and then a wavy line. And now for the bottom wing, we start kind of close to this one, curve down, and we are going to connect it right there. We're gonna curve down and then connect the bottom wing to about the center of the top wing. That's one way to do it, and you can make your monarch butterfly however you want. There's lots of ways to make butterflies. Another way is just to make the letter B. You could have a little body over here and then make the letter B. And you have a butterfly. Monarchs are orange and black. So one way to have to make this look like a monarch is if you first color in the wings orange, then you could put on some black spots or just some black patterns. And it will look like a monarch butterfly. 
Interesting how the monarchs migrate to Mexico, isn't it? Those are all M words. Monarchs eat milkweed and then they migrate to Mexico. I'm just gonna make a shape right there. That is starting to look like a um, monarch, isn't it? Maybe a few dots too. Then over here, instead I think I'll do the orange first and the black second. So I'm gonna make some shapes, kind of like raindrops or teardrops right there and then fill in with some other shapes here kind of mimicking this scientific drawing of the butterfly but not exactly when you're the artist you get to choose right now we're going to add the antennas these antennas help our monarch with directions so they know which way to go and how to get all the way down south to Mexico where they spend the winter. You can add more details to your monarch butterfly. You can add more little caterpillars to your milkweed. I even like to draw another milkweed plant over here so that the art has a little more interest. And just put some more blossoms. This could be a smaller one and a few smaller leaves. Isn't it fun to learn about science and then draw scientific art? I call scientific art, art where you're, you're learning something, using something you used, learned in science in your art. Because I didn't know milkweed looked like this. Now I do. That's why I bought a lot of milkweed plants. Because I want to see if I can attract some monarch butterflies to my backyard. I hope you enjoyed drawing your monarch butterflies. Keep learning. Bye-bye.